Let's be honest, the Quint is the suburban truck company. As much as it pains me to say that, it's the truth. 90% of all ladders manufactured these days are Quints, designated by NFPA, or have some type of suppression capabilities on them. How we function on the fire ground is shaped by the apparatus we respond on. And probably more importantly, how we spec that apparatus. Good day, good evening, good afternoon, however this video finds you. My name is Rob Fisher. I'm a recently retired battalion chief from Snohomish County, Washington. We're located about 35 miles north of the city of Seattle. Of my 20 years as a company officer, I spent 17 of those on our department's only ladder truck. During that time, I was fortunate to be a part of the team that developed our truck company operations on a quit in our small suburban department. Thank you for your interest in my 2025 FDIC presentation, Quint Considerations for the Single Truck Suburban Department. I've written and lectured on the topic of Quint operations for well over a decade. In my presentation, we'll go over Quint designation under the new NFPA 1900. We'll talk about effectiveness of Quints, deployment considerations, uh, Quint versus dry truck, and some of the alternative suppression systems like CAFs. We'll go over response guidelines, when to function as a engine, when to function as a truck on dwellings, multifamily dwellings. We'll go over apparatus positionings at dwellings, multifamily dwellings, commercials, and so forth. And lastly, we'll go over specifications and alternatives to those, taking into account department size, ISO, or some type of state insurance rating system and demographics. I hope you enjoy your time at FDIC. If Quint Operations is something that interests you, please join me. Cheers.